Aria is an odd one to review. Despite it being magnificently wonderful, it's quite uneventful. It doesn't have a complicated plot, but the small story it does tell has just as much impact. It's certainly a unique show, and one that I wasn't completely sure if and how I should review. But because it's such a hidden gem, I want as many people to experience what Aria offers. I want everyone to experience an absolutely unique and magical anime. The story of Aria is simple. In the future, humans have transformed the planet Mars into a habitable planet. The story takes place in Neo Venezia. Modelled after the real Venice in Italy, we follow a girl named Akari as she trains to become a gondolier. That's pretty much as far as any major plot goes. Each episode we follow Akari and her many friends as they explore not only the city they live in, but their own lives. It takes place over three seasons, the first to introduce us, the second to spend time with our characters, and the third to say goodbye. The beauty of Aria is that it doesn't overstay its welcome at any of the points. A lot of the time anime get a hold of a good idea and stretch it out too much, ruining the original charm. In Aria, they treat the segments of the story like real life in a very mature way. Nothing is permanent, and although that might be a sad prospect, it's important that you move on with your life while always staying positive. That's really the message of Aria. Aria may be an episodic show, but it by no means has less impact than a fully fleshed out story. In fact, some of the individual episodes of Aria top my list of all time stories in anime. It masterfully captures the exact amount of emotion needed to attach you to the show without losing the simplicity that originally gave it its charm. I'm still confused to this day how they managed to pull off three different seasons without changing the feel of the show. The second season has to be my favourite, and in my opinion, the best. It has a certain subtle magic element to it, though it creates this without having to shove it in your face, creating a dreamlike atmosphere to the world. I wasn't completely blown away with the first season, but after the second season, this show jumped straight into my favourite anime of all time. The episodes tell stories with such subtlety, while also creating incredibly powerful tales. It's almost unexplainable, which impresses me even further. The third season again changes the pace and the focus. The characters need to progress to the next chapter of their lives, and my god did they do a good job. Some of the best scenes I've ever watched were scattered throughout the third season. They used all the connections and atmosphere built up in the last two seasons to create one of the best and most perfect anime finales I've ever watched. I genuinely could not think of a better climax to this series. After the third season, Ari has definitely become one of the few shows I would consider giving a complete 10 out of 10. One of the most impressive elements of Aria would be the world building. The atmosphere and accuracy of a European city was brilliant. It created a very memorable experience. You can almost imagine yourself visiting the city one day. They pulled the balance off perfectly once again, making an in-depth creation while also maintaining the simplicity. Aria has such a unique, simple and mature story. It addresses serious themes about our life. It handles them with humour and enjoyment, but never, re but never fails to really get the point across. One of the few anime I can say genuinely took its story seriously. At first glance, and considering the state of anime these days, it's perfectly understandable that you'll think, due to the characters being young and female, they'll be portrayed in a sexualised manner. And it's a huge problem in anime right now. It's rare to see a show come out these days that doesn't sexualise its female characters. Even the most popular, high-budget anime are treating the female characters like objects rather than people. But fear not. Despite having a predominantly female cast, Arya doesn't treat its characters like sex objects. In fact, it doesn't even add any suggestive material. Sure, one of the main themes is maturing and growing up, and there is some romance, but the writers treat the characters like characters, not objects something that shouldn't be, but is very impressive from an anime. The three main characters are Akari, Aika and Alice. They're all trainees of the same trade, but hail from different gondola companies. They all have completely different personalities that make their chemistry work so well. It's really entertaining to watch them mature throughout the series. You really feel like you've gone through the series with the characters. Watch them as they progress through their lives. Something that was pulled off better in 50 episodes than some shows do in hundreds. There's an abundance of other characters, from characters that show up regularly to characters that show up only two or three times. 
Regardless, they manage to make you feel like you really know these characters, altogether adding to the brilliantly developed world. The animation really sums up the whole show for me. It's simple and complex. It doesn't seem to do much, yet it's very detailed and rich with colour and life. They show off their brilliant art through the city of Neo Venezia. Whether it's a small alleyway or busy town centre, they give it such a unique look. You really feel engrossed in the world looking at some of the architecture. Aria, being a show about gondolas, has a lot of scenes that are on water. Water is an awkward thing to animate. Very rarely do people get it looking right. Whether it's 3D animation, 2D animation, video games or model animation, a lot of people get it wrong. Aria somehow got it right. I'm not an expert on animation, but it seems they added a 3D CGI layer of water over their 2D animated world. It doesn't sound good, but it looks really nice. The water was recognisable but didn't stick out, and when it needed to, it looked really good. There were some really impressive scenes using water, and of course, as the series went on, the budget increased and the animation quality improved. The soundtrack for the Aria franchise was a beautiful arrangement of slow orchestral tracks with European elements mixed in. It worked so well to bring the world to life. The openings really captured the spirit of the show. They were all smooth and calming with soft vocals. They all had different visuals every single episode, telling us that each episode would be a very unique entity. The voice acting for the Japanese dub was very impressive. The voice actors really captured their characters. I was especially pleased with Akari's voice. Erino Hazuki really made the character her own, creating a recognisable and enjoyable voice for the character. All in all, Aria is a brilliant, unique show. Perfectly tells powerful stories with a simplistic style, creating an enjoyable and impactful experience. Very few shows have pulled off this episodic style. It's clearly a hard task to pull off without becoming repetitive or boring. Aria created extremely memorable characters, episodes and a fantastic world. It manages to create something that's more than just a collection of short stories. It's definitely one of the best and most unique experiences I've had watching anime. Sure, it's sad to know that there won't be any new episodes, but that's one of the things that really makes it stand out. So thank you for watching my review on Aria. Be sure to leave your opinions of the Aria series in the comments. If you did enjoy this review, you can help me out by clicking the like button and sharing it around. And if you want to watch more of my videos, you can click subscribe or click on the screen. Thank you very much for watching.